Today's warrior is actually a school, a community in Thornton rallying around a little girl and reminding her to stay strong. In Mrs. Faulkner's preschool class. Do you know what to do, Ellie? Mary is like most four-year-olds. She loves to paint. Remember, squeeze and let go. But unlike many in her class, she's battling. She's a little unusual, because two years ago, she um, spiked a fever with an ear infection, and her eyes crossed, and they never uncrossed. It took some time for doctors to diagnose Mary with DIPG, a rare form of childhood brain cancer. There is no cure. They can't go in and take it away, but there's hope that we might be able with these trials to get her through and, and give her some really good time. Mary is only the seventh kid in the country to take part in these trials in California. And with such a rare disease, the medical expenses started piling. I was very sad. It was, I was in tears. Um, it's hard to understand what, why those things happen to little kids. And especially like to good people. So Mrs. Faulkner decided to turn her heartache into action, mobilizing the students and faculty at Fursati Catholic Academy to launch Mary Strong Day. Today, they'll wear shirts designed by Mary to raise money for the family. Anytime we've needed something, someone in our community has stepped up to help, which has taken it off our plate. And it didn't stop there. The eighth grade started making snowflakes to raise money. And they say it takes a village to raise a kid. It takes an army to, to raise a sick kid. And we are so lucky to have that. A reminder to Mary in the hallways that her classmates care. The idea is to celebrate Mary's life, to let her parents know that we are here for her that we love her, that we want her to be healthy. A day of love and celebration for the school's tiniest warrior. I firmly believe she's going to be God's miracle. And today is Mary Strong Day. It's the last school day for Mary for a while before she leaves for that trial in California. I'm supporting Mary with my Mary Strong Day band. We are wishing her the best with those trials. The family set up a GoFundMe, which has raised six times the goal already. Good for them. Every Wednesday, we share warrior stories that will inspire you. If you know of someone making a difference, let me know. You can nominate their story at 9news.com slash warrior way. Truly a story about a community coming together, Gary, and resilience. I mean, just being in that school and talking to Mary and her mom and just walking through the hallways, you can just feel the love and the support from the classmates, the teachers. Uh, she's in great hands. She is the sweetest little yeah. girl and and many communities coming together. Yes. It sounds like I mean, the class community coming together and and the family's friends coming together and, and the GoFundMe people coming together. And uh, yeah, that's that's terrific. Yeah. It's, it's what it's all about. Well, best of luck to her for yes. sure.